all think the contrary to what I've just said. And that's where exactly EA Sports wants you to be. They want you thinking that putting money into the game will make you a better player, but I guarantee to you, it will not. If I'm honest with you, EA FC points will not make you a better player, nor will you get more wins. And I have myself and previous achievements as peer reviewed evidence for this video. So be sure to stick around for the entire video so that it all makes sense. Can you please stop buying EA FC points? I'm gonna give you a whole spill as to why. People like this, think that they need to put money into the game to compensate for their inability to play EAFC, to defend, to attack, and to implement all the techniques I teach on this channel. They think if they don't have R9, they can't do the simple attacking techniques that I teach. They think if they don't have Team of the Year Van Dyke, they can't do the defensive techniques that I teach on this channel. I will put it simply to you, right here, right now. FIFA points, AKA EAFC points, and a better team will only allow you to edge a game and maybe win that game if you are on the same skill level as your opponent and he has a lesser team to you. Your gold squad will not beat a standard gold squad if the player is better than you. Using myself as a case study, I was signed in 2019 for my first pro tournament under Brisbane Raw. Do you know how I did it? With an RTG, and in that year, I was ranked second in Oceania for the majority of the year. I was up and down with a few players and constantly just underneath foot whiz Marco at the time with an RTG. The players I was using included AKA, Griezmann included, Burkham, all players that people looked down upon, players that never really saw a day of light in the majority of pro players squads, nor in the entire communities squads. Yet I still use them, why? Because they felt good for me. They were gold players and essentially, they were lesser caliber, but I knew how to use them. And that is one of the most important aspects of what I'm trying to explain to you today. No matter what squad you have, as long as you know how to use the players in your squad, you will be able to prevail in EAFC. But going in to 2019, I took these players. I had the choice to have R9. I had the choice to have Team of the Year Ronaldo, but who did I rock? Middle icon, Dennis Bergkamp and gold, Griezmann. Griezmann doesn't even have a right foot for me. He's only got that left foot, but once again, look at that Vieira, the first time pass, and there is Griezmann, and there is the back of the net. It's Aussie FIFA backing his man. And I was ridiculed on stage that year, specifically at the start, going in, the commentators were roasting me. Why is this guy using these two players. He has every player at his disposal in FIFA 19, yet he is using these players. Well, that's because I knew how they worked. I knew how they moved, how they played, how they positioned themselves, and how they shot the ball. Going in, of course, we did really well. Second overall that year for Brisbane Raw, and we wiped the floor with these two players. My achievements that year, yes, I'm still holding on to them, not because of an ego thing, but simply just so I can use these examples to explain why you shouldn't have to buy EAFC points to improve your squad and how and why your players will not determine whether you will win or lose a game. It's how you use those players. You don't have to put money into the game, so stop doing so. If you actually truly want to get better, watch my tutorials, learn the ins and outs of the game, and you will prevail no matter what squad you have in EAFC. And if I'm honest, if you still think the contrary to what I've just said on this channel, if you still disagree with me, then that's where exactly EA Sports wants you to be. That's where they want your head to be at. They want you thinking that putting money into the game will make you a better player, but I guarantee to you, it will not. I proved in 2019 and 2020, running an RTG, I also proved in the no money spent road to an event that you can compete at a high level, regardless of what players you have in your squad, and you do not need a God squad worth $10,000 
to compete in this game. If you enjoyed the video, then I'd really appreciate it if you hit the subscribe button. And lastly, if you do want any pre-gaming fuel or supplement, then head over to atpscience.com, which is the first link in the description, and use the code DILLINETSATP at checkout to get yourself a discount. Not only is it the cheapest way to get supplements, but it helps me out a ton, guys, so thank you.